Welcome to this lesson on linear scatter plots. Let's go over a couple new definitions. So first is correlation, and that is the relationship between two variables in a data set. The correlation coefficient, which is used by the letter R, measures the strength and direction of the relationship between the two variables in a data set. And your R will always be between negative 1 and 1. So let's talk about some different correlations that you can see with a linear scatter plot. First is a positive correlation. So that's when R is positive, and you're going to have a positive slope with your points. So just like the line has a positive slope, the points are all rising from left to right. In this case, your R is going to be between 0 and 1. And the closer to 1, the stronger the correlation is going to be. So these are all pretty close to that line. All the dots are pretty close. So that means it's going to be a pretty strong correlation. I would estimate this R at about 0.8. If the R was a perfect one, that means all the points would be in a perfectly straight line. And these aren't, so about 0.8 is good. Then you have a negative correlation, which means there's a negative slope. And that's when R is going to be from negative 1 to 0. And of course, the closer to negative 1, the stronger the correlation. So this would be about negative 0.8. And it's negative because you have that negative slope. And then there's no correlation, which means the, the points are all scattered. They're not really making a line. And that's when your R is 0. OK, so let's determine the correlation of each scatter plot and estimate the R value. So these points on number one have a positive correlation, but they're not really close together. They're not really close to a line. So I would estimate this at about 0 0.4, 0 0.5. And you're just estimating here. Number two, these definitely don't have any correlation at all. So my R is a zero. Number three, this has a negative correlation and they're all pretty close to that line. So I'm gonna estimate this at about negative 0.9. And it's negative because you have that negative slope. And then number four, this is a positive correlation. They're a little bit more spread out than number three, so I'm going to go with about 0.8. All right, let's continue on. Causation is when something causes something else to happen. So let's talk about correlation and causation. When two variables are correlated, so they have a relationship, that does not necessarily mean a change in one variable causes a change in the other variable. A control group is needed to prove this, and that's when you get into like scientific experiments. You need a control group in order to prove causation. And a control group is just um, something that's used to, to make sure that the experiment you're doing is valid, is accurate. And this is important to remember. Correlation does not necessarily equal causation. So an example, a study shows a positive correlation between baseball ticket sales and temperature. That just means anytime the temperature is hotter, the baseball ticket sales seem to go up. Can you conclude that the hotter temperatures caused people to buy more baseball tickets? So these definitely have a correlation. There's a positive correlation. The more baseball tickets that are being sold, the hotter it is outside. But does one cause the other? That would be no, not necessarily. Many factors could cause people to buy baseball tickets. It's hotter outside because it's summer, so people are out of school. They have more time to go to the baseball game. So Correlation does not always mean causation. Okay, so let's try some more examples. So Jose collected data from his classmates about how much water they drink and their GPA. He finds that students who drink less water tend to have a higher GPA. 
He concludes that drinking water causes students to have low grades. So first of all, what type of correlation did Jose find? He found a negative correlation. As water intake goes up, GPAs go down and vice versa. So that's a negative correlation. But is his conclusion correct? Does drinking water cause low grades? Well, of course not. There are many factors that can cause students to have high or low GPAs. Probably has nothing to do with water, so. Correlation does not mean causation. All right, number two. A health group did a study on people who spent time in the sun each day. They studied people who stayed in the sun from zero to five hours each day, and then they tracked the number of cases of skin cancer. So what type of correlation did they find? This is a positive correlation. Without a control group, can they determine that sun causes skin cancer? That would be a no, not without the control group. Now we know from science, from scientific studies, that sun can cause skin cancer, but we have proven that because they had control groups in place. So just from this data alone, if we had no control groups, we could not prove that. All right, number three, a statistician did a study on how many hours people work per week and how much money they had in their bank accounts. He concludes that hours worked have no correlation with money in the bank. All right, so what type of correlation did he find? This is a, well, there's no correlation. These are all over the place. So my R value would be zero. All right, is this conclusion correct? So is it true that hours worked have nothing to do with money in the bank? Well, they probably have something to do with money in the bank. I mean. Common sense says if you work more hours, you're probably going to have more money in the bank. However, maybe people didn't save their money. Maybe they blew it as soon as they got a paycheck. Um, maybe they had bills to pay and they immediately had to pay those bills. So is his conclusion correct? It's possible, but we need more information. He would need some type of control group where literally all they do is work and then put money in the bank. They're not spending that money. They're not doing anything else to have an effect on their money in the bank. All right, you can go ahead and stop this video and complete your practice.